My name is Joseph Wunderlich. I'm a professor of engineering, architecture, and computer science. This is a quick summary of a lecture that takes typically 75 minutes in a classroom. It could take uh, two or three lectures if we stop and read everything and discuss everything. I'm just going to quickly go over it here uh, as fast as possible to give uh, the students an overview. So this is thermodynamics in buildings using our textbook, and uh, we're going to emphasize uh, conduction, convection, and radiation uh, in heat transfer as well as other principles in uh, thermodynamics and firstly just defining sensible heat uh, versus latent heat and the students should read through that and what temperature means and then conduction and how that applies to buildings and uh, particularly in chapter 15 we're going to be looking at R values and the resistivity. Uh, so with latent heat people want to understand the uh, three phase diagrams and how those work and uh, sublimation and what that means transferring uh, uh, between states of liquid gas and solids and a little clear diagrams to read here for water And then with convection and heat transfer, understanding how that works in buildings and stratification and um, the details there. Evaporative cooling we want to talk about, blowing uh, air over the surface of the human skin and uh, trying to get that naturally if we can with passive design and then also with uh, active design we'll talk about in later chapters. Uh, ways to stop uh, the flow of heat out of your building with weather stripping or into your building. Uh, the trade-offs when we're designing uh, during COVID times and other times of the uh, air exchanges that typically you would get in a house uh, or any kind of building design, uh, commercial, residential, industrial, versus uh, how much air exchanges are recommended uh, for COVID. Uh, details about COVID, we're certainly not going to go into this now. We've spent a couple of years looking quite a bit uh, in classrooms. Again, we'll talk more about this in class. But uh, transport of different uh, diseases and um, particulates and ozone, uh, air pollution, all through the movement of air, asbestos, mold, on mold, the design for mold, preventing mold, in different spaces in the building. Again, we'll go through much slower in the classroom. Uh, this is a quick overview. Lots of details on mold, uh, more on COVID and particle sizes, and the fact that it is an aerosol, it does spread as an aerosol. Peer reviewed research showing that in the Journal of Medicine. Uh, COVID particle sizes and the type of masks uh, that people talk about and are specified at different times, uh, cloth masks versus uh, the KN95s or N95s, and then HEPA filters that you, you don't see in face masks, but this would be in a building uh, for the best of uh, filtration. More on COVID and design specifications for buildings, recommendations. And then thirdly, with heat transfer and radiation, which is a form of electromagnetic uh, or electromagnetic radiation, which is uh, heat transfers as it radiates from sources off of the human body. And uh, just talking about that and how light is a visible band of electromagnetic radiation and different types of uh, interactions with heat and any kind of electromagnetic radiation, but 
heat is what we're talking about here mostly. Uh, the greenhouse effect and how that works on Earth as well as in buildings. Different types of materials and the balance between absorptance and emittance with different coatings and how to design uh, for for that in different climates. Um, mean radiant temperature, so what it feels like at a point within a building based on the, the openings and the, uh, uh, the transmittance of heat through the walls and ceiling and also sources of heat, fireplace. Uh, and then some other things in energy conversion and uh, transmitting power loss, uh, I squared R losses, energy, uh, combined heat and power techniques, hydrogen fuel cells. These are all mentioned in this chapter in the book. I uh, use the sun if you can instead, always initially. We'll talk about active and passive solar, some statistics on usage of uh, buildings in the United States, energy, embodied energy, and a summary of the trade offs of um, balancing, designing for um, a tight envelope in a building but also allowing fresh air to pass um, for, for general health, but also certainly during uh, times we're dealing with a pandemic.